Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lauren Allison with MasterTheBody.com and today I want to talk to you about supplement ingredients that are best to avoid. Here I have a supplement facts label from a best-selling product on Amazon.com. This just so happens to be a digestive enzyme supplement formula and the object of my discussion is here under other ingredients. It's called maltodextrin. Most of you, if you've ever looked at a label, you've probably seen it on the label. So what is it? Well, maltodextrin is synthesized from corn, rice, wheat, potatoes. And essentially what it is, is a complex carbohydrate. What that does into your body is it turns into sugar. So you're begging the question, why would you put that into a supplement formula? Well, what maltodextrin does in a product like this, we don't need it to be sweet. So you're thinking, well, they probably didn't put it in there for the pill to be sweet, right? What it is, is it's a filler, a thickener, and or a sweetener. So when you're putting it in a product like this, it's generally to fill out the product. Meaning, if we don't have high doses or high potencies or high volume of the other ingredients, we put maltodextrin in as a filling agent. So you are filling up the rest of the capsule to make sure that it's full. Why would you do that? Well, if this is a 60 count bottle and you want to sell it cheaper than the competition who sells a 60 count bottle, let's say at $30, that means you can turn around and sell this product for half of that because your ingredients aren't costing you that much and you can fill it with a very inexpensive ingredient. Maltodextrin primarily synthesized from corn when you see it in products because corn is so cheap. So if you've ever seen high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup on a label, maltodextrin is taken from corn as well. It's just a different type of sweetener, usually used in uh, products in the grocery store, uh, packaged products. And the reason for that is that A, it doesn't say sugar, it's a different name, and B, technically it is lower uh, sugar content, but it has a very high glycemic index. And what that means is that you absorb that sugar very quickly into your bloodstream and into your body. So you say, well, okay, I get all that. The product's gonna be cheaper though if it has the maltodextrin in it. Is it causing me any problems? So that brings me to my last point. With maltodextrin, and the reason why I recommend people avoid it is because it has been shown with research to deregulate the intestinal antimicrobial defense. Long phrase, sounds complicated, what does it mean? Basically, it changes the composition or the balance of bacteria in your gut. Why is that a problem? Because a good chunk of your immune system is based out of your gut. And we know now with bacterial research and probiotic research that that balance is really important. So if you're someone who's buying a digestive product to help with your digestion, probably because you have a problem with your digestion, you don't necessarily want something in there that's going to deregulate or disrupt an existing balance in your gut because the whole purpose of the product is to help with the digestion. So over the years in the Master of the Body Clinic, people would come in with products like this that had a filler, maltodextrin, added to the product. And that, if they had a very sensitive digestive tract, may actually be irritating their gastrointestinal lining. So it's not just the research, but I've actually seen it in clinical practice where additives such as maltodextrin can create more problems. So if you're looking for a digestive product or any other product, even if you're looking for packaged products at the store, meat products and so forth, I would recommend you try to avoid maltodextrin. So I hope this helps you understand another additive or ingredient in supplements I'm Dr. Lauren Allison with MatchTheBody.com, wishing you and your family the best in health.